Hey everybody, Ryan here. I am sorry, I want to apologize ahead of time. It has been about a week since last time I dropped a video. And I'm sorry, I, between school, family, making videos, which takes time, by the way. It does take time to make these videos, and it takes time to make videos on my other channel. So, it's kind of been a whirlwind for the last couple months and I finally just reached a point where I said okay I have to take a blip a week break and I did so I'm back now we'll be covering all the games from here on out hopefully depends on school really that's really the big stressor outside of this honestly but for now I am back and hopefully we can keep doing this I told you every Sunday I'm gonna try and do these and I'm doing them on Sundays now, I'm recording these, I yeah, there's one game that's already finished, I recorded these after the New Jersey, and, oh, who did they play today? New Jersey and Washington game today. So, that game is finished, those stats are in these stats, but the other three games for today are not in the stats. Alright, other than that, let's get started with the player stats as of Sunday the 21st of February, after the first game of the day. Alright, so this is what the goals looked like last week. Matthews with 11, Besser with 10, Toffoli with 10. Then a whole bunch of guys with 9 and then 8. So let's see where we're at now. Now there's two pages. Anyways, Matthews is now up to 18 goals. Yikes. That is 7 goals in a week. In 4 games he had 7 goals. I would say that's a hell of a week. Uh, Connor McDavid, 12 goals now. Brock Besser, 12. Toffoli's up to 11, so only one goal. It was not a great week for Montreal or Toffoli. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl and Nikolai Ehlers are up to 10. Then you got a whole bunch of guys with 9 goals. And honestly, that's a huge jump for... McDavid had 3 goals this week. Besser, 2. Yeah, Matthews had a huge week, so <laughs> good on him. And then a whole bunch of guys up to nine, because last week there was one, two, three, four, five guys with nine goals. Now, there's a heck of a lot more than that. And let's see, Pavelski has not had a goal in that week. It doesn't, let's see, Brad Marchand, Nikolai Ehlers went up one, he's up to ten. And Josh Anderson is still at nine. So, Anderson is still at nine. As is Joe Pavelski and Josh Anderson. So three of the five nine goal scores from last week are still at nine. That's not great weeks. All right, let's go on to assists. Last week McDavid led with 19, followed by Drysdale with 18, and Quinn Hughes with 16. Then Marner and Kane with 15, Kopitar 13, McKinnon, Hedman, Stone, and Shifley all with 12. McDavid had a heck of a week go with three goals you can add in six assists so a nine point week good week for McDavid but not surprising either Mitch Marner's up to 21 assists Dreisaitl's at 20 so we now have three guys with 20 plus assists Quinn Hughes not a huge week two assists no goals yeah two goals so still two goals so yeah two assists for Quinn Hughes this week not Vancouver's year this year, I, I have a feeling. They have not looked good up to now. I mean, they're starting to kind of slowly turn it around, but it may be a bit too late at this point, honestly. I mean, it's not really too late, but come on. I mean, they're, they're 21 games out of 56 if we even make it to 56 this year. So if they go to what they were talking about, 40 games, I guess a 19 games to make up the difference. As of right now, you have an additional 16 on top of that, so 25. No, 35. Sorry, 35. So, yeah, you still have 35 games to make it up. That's still pretty good. I mean, you'd have to have a heck of a run, but it's not impossible. We've seen crazier. But other than that, I mean, Patrick Kane's been playing his head off this year. Andre Kopitar is having a great year. Huberdeau's at 15, Nicholas Backstrom, Mark Shifley, Mac, uh, Nathan McKinnon, who's back finally, 
and Morgan Riley all have 14 assists. So the assists have been abundant this year. It's just goals other than like the top five guys been kind of sparse. I'm sorry, that's not the right one. There it is. That other than top six, really. I mean, a bunch of guys with nine, but those are your top six are the only ones that are ten or more. All right, on the points. Like I said, McDavid, nine-point week. He started off at 28, up to 37. So, yeah. Last week, McDavid, 28, Drysdale, 26, Kane and Marner with 22. Then a bunch of guys tied with 18, and a bunch more tied with 17. So this week, Connor McDavid is 37 points. Mitch Marner and Leon Dreisaitl both have 30. So Marner shot up this week. From 22 to 38 point week. Pretty good week for him. He's at 9 goals, 21 assists. Where last week he was at 7, 15, 7 goals and 15 assists. So 6 assists and 2 goals. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 2 goals. I was right. Okay. I do know my math. Yay! Anyways. Those are your 30 point guys. Uh, Austin Matthews is one point off. He's at 29. Patrick Kane with 26. Mark Shifley, 23. Jonathan Uberdo having a great year down there in Florida. A very surprising team, honestly. 22 points. Nicholas Backstrom, 22. Brock Besser and Andre Kopitar, are 21. All right, plus minus. Last week, Justin Falk led with plus 16. Then as you can see down here, if you want to pause the video, you can see the rest of the guys up there. Let's see where we stand this week. Not a huge change. Justin Falk is tied for first now with Mitch Marner at plus 17. So Justin Falk was only a plus one in the last week. Yikes. And Mitch Marner was plus 10, so he was plus seven this week. Oop, I went back the wrong way. Plus seven this week for Mitch Marner. Good week, I'd say. Joel Edmondson, plus 15. Petrie, Nurse, Dreisaitl, and Krug, all plus 13. Ehlers, plus 12. Niederreiter and Erickson Eck, all plus 11. All right. Penalty minutes now. Last week, Tyler Myers led with 33. Then you can see the rest of the guys on the list. Let's see where we stand. Did Evander Kane take over first again? No, he didn't. Yay! Sharks fans have to be happy about that. Went from 28 to 28. No penalty minutes the entire week for Vander Kane. No wonder they won every game, except for the one in overtime against St. Louis. But still, they had a great week, the Sharks. And you can relate it to Vander Kane not taking any dumb penalties. That's always a positive. And Eric Carlson, no offense to him, but him being hurt seems to have actually improved the team. Your $11 million defender is a problem. Anyways, Tyler Myers is still in lead with 35, followed by Borbieski with 34, and Sherratt with 30. It's still weird seeing Sherratt with that many penalty minutes up towards the top. Antoine Roussel, not surprising, with 29, Evander Kane 28, Kevin Fiala 27, Brady Kachuk 25, and Derek Forbert, Matthew Barzell, and Keith Yandel with 24. Alright, so, even strength points. Last week, Connor McDavid led with 16, followed by Drysdale, Kane, and Marner with 15 each. This week, Mitch Marner tied McDavid with 21 even strength points each. So let's see, McDavid went up 5 even strength points, Marner went up 6. Oops, wrong direction again. So, good week, very good week for Marner, honestly. Austin Matthews as well, he's at 20 even strength points. Uh, Patrick Kane, 18. Shifley, Dreisaitl with 17. Jordan Cairo having a great season in St. Louis, even though St. Louis has been meh. 16. Ehlers, 15. Shen, 15. And Brock Besser, 14. On the power play points, last week, Connor McDavid led with 12, followed by Pavelski with 11. Kopitar, Kubalik, and Dreisaitl with 10 each. This week, a lot more guys in the 10. 10 point range. Connor McDavid, 16. So that is an increase of 4 for him. Leon Dreisaitl, 12. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, 11. Kopitar and Pavelski, also 11. Dominic Kubalik, Quinn Hughes, and Victor Olofsson of Buffalo, 
have 10 power play, power play points each. Then you got Eichel, Bergeron, Hedman, Morgan Riley, Matthews, Backstrom, and Uberdo all with 9. Oh, and then you also have Klingberg, Lindholm, Yandel, and Marner. Sorry, there's a really long list of guys tied at 9. Alright, shorthanded points. I haven't changed a whole lot if you look at it next page, but was led by Toffoli and Atkinson with three each. Foligno, Armia, Lekkanen, and Marchand all had two. This week, not huge increase. One more guy reached two points. That's Tyler Myers. Uh, Nick Foligno went up to three. Otherwise, it's all the same. All right, that's all the that's all the categories I'm going to go over for player stats. So I hope you enjoyed. If you do, hit that like, hit that comment, hit that share button, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Getting close to that 50 point 50 subscriber range. So help me out with hitting that 50 point, and hopefully we can get something like a giveaway or something going at that point. Do something fun, or even do a fun video. Maybe let you guys select what kind of video you want me to do. Hmm, that could be kind of fun too. Hmm, that could also go badly. We'll see. I'll figure that out when we get there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have already, and I will see you all next video. Bye, everybody.